Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yisrael and welcome to the Tribble Time Warp, going places where, frankly, everyone's going to be going very shortly. The place today is the Tau Dewa Sector Block. It was introduced with the 26th of October patch from Tribble, and here we are. My ship apparently did a 90 degree turn upon coming out of transit between sectors. I don't know why that's a standing thing. Now, what have we got? A few enemy signal contacts. Various systems dotted around, including the other Azir Nebula. But let's have a look at these contacts first, see what we've got. The Tholians, right, so... Interesting that we've got Klingon and Federation icons swirling around, but I suppose it does make sense. The black hole in the middle, presumably, that is Tholian. Alright, our contact here is apparently a, a sub-commander Mivek, and they've actually voiced her, which is interesting. They don't normally do that with mission handouts, especially not at the sector level. We have need of your assistance. Hmm. Right, let's try the background first. Ah, and now they don't have a uh, voice for that yet. We have need of your assistance. All right, so security must be maintained in this sector. Yes, I've heard that before. Terror must be maintained. The Molrian. Those of you who haven't read Diane Duane's Riansu novels, why not go and do it now? That roughly translates as New Romulus. So presumably New Romulans, given the way they've passed that. Not enough ships need. Complete patrol missions. Oh, that is a nice payout. That's not we too shabby. Your Security must be maintained in this sector. And the Tholian Red Alert Encounter. Well, let's go have we a have chat. Your okay, interestingly, that is on a percentage. So, I suppose we need to go find a... Ah! As if by magic! A spatial rift. Shouldn't that be S-P-A-T-I-A-L? Right then. Let's go see what the Borg have come up with. So we're in the Azir Nebula again, and it looks like the Borg immediately got jumped by the Tholians. Oh. Where, well, hey. Mass Epic Brawl. We haven't had one of these in a long while. Alright, let's get to work. So we've got ten minutes, five groups of Tholians, plus a capital group. That's presumably the equivalent of a Unimatrix. Hmm. Okay, now, there seem to be a couple of differences between this and the traditional Red Alerts. The main one is that all the Tholians are on the map at once, so you could potentially engage them all at once. The mission seems to have been tuned to make it a lot faster than the regular Borg Alerts, which is no bad thing. But it also seems to have is an incredibly chaotic scrap because by the looks of it we've engaged at least two or three Tholian groups simultaneously. Now this is triple rather than the holodeck so average gear levels do tend to be a bit higher and the players were not necessarily flat better. I dare say escort drivers are wincing at my ineptitude already do perhaps tend to be a little more committed to STO and therefore perhaps slightly more skilled on average. I'm not saying that Tribble has a genius level requirement to even log in. Such is not the case and should not be the case. There is no point tuning a scenario based on what you get on Tribble if you're effectively tuning it for the top 10% of the player base. However, it's yeah, there's not a lot to say about this really. It's basically a three-way brawl in a very pretty map. In fact, it's not even three ways, is it? Because the Borg were just there to get stomped by the Tholians and they're all dead anyway. So, hmm. 
Okay, we're hitting engine limits again. Look at that folium web flickering in and out as I get closer. Although it doesn't seem to be rage, it seems to be purely the number of effects the engine can render at once. We've had this before in mass battles, most notably these 20 man starbase fleet defense scenario. And this may perhaps be why STO often tends to confine itself to smaller fights, unlike the series, which had to keep dramatic focus on the lead ship, as well as still with a limited effects budget. Here we just have an engine that can't handle 11 trillion things going on at once and starts dropping effects at random. Which is fine if it's minor stuff, it's rather less fine when you have invisible high yield plasma torpedoes and disappearing tholian webs. So that seems to be a more serious underlying limit with the engine rather than the mission itself. Right, knock off the named battleship, that should finish the cattle group, there we go. Alright, we are missing a few bugs. Where have they gone? Hmm. Just search the big sphere marker, I suppose. We'll find them eventually. They don't have cloaking devices after all. So that is a nice, enjoyable little blast. I can see that being quite popular initially, and probably on a longer term basis as well. As I said when I was talking about in Snared, sometimes it's nice just to have a go nuts and do some serious damage mission. Provided you don't do it to excess, of course. Engine limit, however, is what really gets me, and it would be nice to see Cryptic acknowledge it and say, yes, we're working on the number of effects the engine can handle at once, we're looking to increase that, we're looking to say, you know what, even if you've got 20 players and 50 plus NPCs going at it hammer and tongs, the engine will not start abruptly dropping effects. As for other possible tweaks to the mission, well, perhaps space the Tholian groups out a little. That first melee was both simultaneously glorious in scale. The Klingon side of me really, really likes that, and at the same time, oh wow, that was confused at one point. It was hard to tell what was going on. On the other hand, we did it with six minutes to spare, so, meh, time seems fine. And we got the credits, so that's 25% complete there. I have to wonder why they've gone for a percentage and not just a complete four missions. But let's swing by to another one and see what we get. And while we're doing that, let's go talk to... Well, it says Starfleet, but who wants to bet we get the sub-commander? My people are grateful for your help. Doesn't she have another sentence? No? Okay, fair enough. I'm assuming these are placeholder voices for the moment. We have need of your assistance. Because they do need to do a bit of voice work if they're going to make everything line up with these scripts. I can understand leaving out things like Admiral that are very dependent upon the character, particularly if they're going to increase the rank cap at some point. But... Simply leaving out half the script strikes me as being a little sloppy. Anyhow, Starbase 234. Starbase 234. Is it me, or are we on the wrong side of the border here? I mean, if that is the neutral zone demarcation line, then Starbase 234 is undoubtedly in what was Romulan, or at least unclaimed, space. I mean, on the other hand, Golondum Cores over there, and the Rendras there, both of which they've been to. Archer System only ever appeared in an alternate universe. I can kind of understand Nimbus being in the dead zone between the three empires. 
because that was the whole point of Nimbus 3. Those of you who don't remember that, go watch Star Trek 5. Better yet, don't. Let's just say that Nimbus 3's sole purpose for being the planet of galactic peace was because it was such a useless ball of rock that nobody could be bothered to fight over it. Anyhow, let's go pay the Starbase a visit. Okay, Class M planet in the background. Ready for tactical exercises. You poor damned fools. Starfleet... Wait a minute, that looks like an academy uniform, but he's got a commander's rank pips. You poor, poor fool. Starfleet sent you out here as for your Kobayashi Maru, didn't they? Inflict as much damage to the Starbase as its defense allows possible. Okay, engage the picket ships. One. Triple two. I'm not even going to bother with rapid fire for that guy. Doesn't need it. Typhoon battleship. It's nice to have a fed v fed for once. We've had the mirror universe, of course, but that always feels a little cheap. He'll attempt tractors, so polarize to preempt that. Ha ha, I know your strategy. If you thought the coup maneuver was predictable, you haven't seen these guys in a fight. Make another pass. He's going to get his support shield in the way, but it won't help him. There we go. Right, roll past. Let's see what a starbase can do. This used to be regarded as a good way to get yourself killed in Starfleet Command. Ships are full to fight a station and all that. So. Can we move it, I wonder? No, good, that's as it should be. Right. Okay, that thing's shields are- oh, oh wow. Okay, that, um, that hurt. Okay, let's try something different. They've actually made a starbase respectably tough. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, blitz out, convert down, and shield leech. Okay, we're through his shields. Really taking a beating from the guns. Burn away just for a sec. There we go. No, that was just an after effect of the weapon being fired while we were in range and not getting to it until we were out of it. So this thing hasn't actually got extended range phases, which is almost a pity. Convert to attack mode. Again, of course, Starbase can't manoeuvre, so I can just keep hitting the same shield facing. And then again. Okay, 
Can we dodge it with crash repulses? No. But you do get a bit of damage from that, so it's all good. Round and round we go, where it stops nobody knows. Again, just pitching for as much physical damage as possible. Thirty seconds. Time for one more attack pass. What is that? Didn't see it. Oh wow! What was that? Hurt. Ah, seriously. Hurt. How many hit points has this got anyway? It's gone friendly. We've done our job and def tested the Starbase's defences. Now we must leave, so we can put the hull back together. Just as a note, given that this is simulated combat, it would be nice to have an automatic repair. Uh, Inform Tactical Doctrine. Not now, I just need to put the um, ship back together. Retreat 10 kilometers away from the starbase. Okay, now that's interesting. Why do they want us to do that? Am I about to break the script without realizing it? 10 kilometers. No, so why have I got to clear the traffic area? This makes no sense at all. Hmm. Anyway, we're back up to speed, so... Alright, and that's interesting because... Ah, now I see why they go with the percentage. That only counted as 1 in 10. Because it was a relatively simple scenario, presumably. Alright. Try not to think about the property damage we've just done to that system by warping straight into it. Now oh, then, Nimbus 3, I don't believe there's actually anything of interest here. After all, that's why it got the job in the first place. Planet of Galactic Peace, ladies and gentlemen. I... no. No, nothing of interest. Okay. Where else do we have? London Core, why not? No good deed goes unpunished there. Can we make things fast? Can we make things strong? Should we trust a pack led the moment we see it? Wasn't there a fanfic once that involved Riker cross-serving on a Dominator-class Imperial battleship? Narendra III, he was sent to an imprisonment. Well then, let's go say hi to the Klingons. Is this going to result in a three-way? I have no idea. Let's find out. Erosion and you thought they could somehow be fair. Herogen from nowhere. Not that it matters. Let's just quickly Ah, right, we have lots of erosion waves. So are they going to throw successive waves at us, or simply zerg it? Successive waves by the looks of it. 
this, contrary to the Azean Tholian alert, this is almost tame. I want to keep him intact, although I suspect the Romneys may have gone invulnerable for this one. Leash. Well, I suppose that kind of helps. Lazy git. Ah, I withdraw the lazy git comment. Let's see how much of a bang we get from that battleship. Fifty-five percent for that one, so twenty percent boost for a scenario that honestly wasn't. Well, if anything, that was easier, and also dropped a ton of loot. Well then. Perhaps. Or perhaps we'll just go back to killing each other. Who knows. Sorry about the planet, guys. Alright. Do we have time for one more? Why not? Golondon Core. Did say I'd try that and got lost on the way. Shouldn't really be executing my helmsman. After all, I'm playing my Starfleet characters, not my Klingons. I can't airlock people at the drop of a hat anymore. Speaking of crew... Do -do -do -do, duty officers. Assignments. Trade routes, methogenics. This is all pretty standard stuff at the moment. Yeah, that, those are all standardised. First engineer, you know what, I will get that going anyway. But the rest of that all looks like it's just stock duty officer. Deployments at the moment. So, Galondon Corps, ladies and gentlemen. Not sure why this place has acquired the reputation as being the back end of the galaxy, but... That's why. Just going to the planet causes your brain to melt. Oh, happy days. Right, what's gone wrong this time? Oh, we, we got little space whales to get home. Okay, this is actually interesting. So we've got a track we need to follow. You can see it over there. I think they're here to kill the Gekli. I think you need to learn to count. Well, let's just make a quick pass of these dudes. Where did the other one go? Avoid poachers. Hmm. Strictly speaking, they're not poaching. Poaching implies that somebody has legitimate hunting or shooting rights for the species in question. Since technically nobody does, it's less poaching and more just, oi, random slaughtering. Mind you, I suppose it's fitting that it would be the Herosian that do this. 
Now let's see what we can do by way of trouble. So we have another wave of erosion incoming. Break out the wind cannon. Very, very messy. Good to see them making use of the Hirogen as an adversary in this sector. We haven't had much out of them in a long while. up any of the yes we do. Let's see if... Yes it does. That is... curious. And we appear to have broken some of the Gekli as a consequence. Come on. Come on. Come on, little space amoeba whale thingies. Come on, Junior. Shift it. There we go. Right, now let's get them all moving again. Yoink. Come on. I know this species is so stupid that it once managed to mistake a starship for mother, but honestly, get moving. AI seems to need a bit of work. Herdy, herdy, herd. The mission gave the impression that this was supposed to be a simple proximity case, but it looks as though it's getting stuck on a regular basis. Did I break it when I used hazard emitters to heal up a Gekli, or are they just this uh, ragged round the edges? Come on. Come on. Alright, well let's go get rid of the Hirocha. Come on. Nudge, nudge. You know what it is, don't you? Their brains have melted. All that electromagnetic what's it from the local system star. Grab the loot while we're here. Not bad for cash, it has to be said, if I flog most of this. Which is good, because I'm going through energy credits at a rate of knots. Never needed much before, and now all of a sudden I'm spending a lot on provisions. And why is this... Ah! Come on! This was a problem. In the 
Ests in the Getley Feeding Ground STF. Well, no, it's not an STF, is it? It's a fleet action. Nobody ever did it. The Getley just got confused. Okay, so right now this appears to be very, very broken. Okay, maybe if I swing back to a point. Is there anything else I can do to get the AI moving again? Well, I suppose we could try healing. Well, that made it jump, but that may just have been a graphical effect. Can I just push it? Track repulses? No. Can we just hook on and tow? Get a couple of people into EV suits, get them out there and I... I... what? But I just wiped out... Uh, oh right, no, we've got hostiles on the long range map over there. So it may just been that they hit their waypoint way too early. Is that running on a timer or something? That is a larger hunting party? You are kidding me. And apparently I've forgotten how to fly an escort. Perhaps my brain is melting! Making an absolute hash of this. Let's see if clearing this group out of the way gets the blasted things to move again. going to budge. Since we've run out of Herogen. There we go, blips disappeared. Hmm. No, they... Don't want to know, it seems. Right, let's head further along the track, see if we get something. <sighs> this needs to be tightened up. Probably also needs to have an actual map added, but... Okay. Alright, I'm assuming that's a rift in the space-time continuum. At least it's got all the signs. Specifically that it's a blue swirly thing in the middle of nowhere. And we appear to have run out of Herogen. I've broken the mission, haven't I? Wasn't even trying. Cryptic, please take note. The AI on these things, or at least your script for this mission, needs some serious work. We appear to have run out of hunters. Send more. Ugh. <sighs> You know what? Sorry, they're safe. Let's just toggle off. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been Neosrol. That has been the first part of the Tribble Time Warp for the 27th of October. And I will continue this shortly in part two.